हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज संदीप रतुरी एंड इन दिस एक्सरसाइज आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डायनेमिक टाइटल फॉर अ विजुअल बेस्ड ऑन मल्टीपल सेलेक्टेड वैल्यूज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी नीड दिस फंक्शनैलिटी इन अवर लाइफ रिपोर्ट हियर इज द टास्क फॉर दिस एक्सरसाइज लोड द डेटा सेट इन पावर बी आई क्रिएट ए सलाइसर फॉर रीजन एड ए डायनेमिक टाइटल to the chart that reflects the selected region first i will demonstrate the dynamic title functionality for the visual after that we will implement it step by step as you can see i have a region slicer and a column chart now i will select a single region from the slicer for example the east region you can see that the column chart title updates to display east region next i will select multiple regions east north and south you will notice that the title now displays all the selected regions with this dynamic title functionality user will enjoy a better experience as it clearly indicates which regions have been selected in the slicer i hope you got an idea of how the dynamic title works and how you can display the selected slicer values in the title now let's move on the practical first we will load the data set into power bi desktop so for that under home tab click on get data and select text csv because our data is in text file after that select the file click on open here you can see the data preview and click on load as you can see that data has been loaded successfully into power bi desktop and if you want to see the data click on table view and here you can see the data now click on report view and here first we will add one region slicer in the report page so under visualization pen click on slicer and here drag the region column into field section of the slicer by press and hold the corner of the slicer you can manage the width and height of the slicer next we will create a dynamic title for the visuals so for that right click on the data set name and click on new measure and we will use this dax code for the dynamic title now i will explain you all dax code so here measure name is dynamic title and here we add one variable selected values so it will store the all selected slicers region values into a single text string and here we use values dax function so it will return a table of distinct values from the sales region column if the column is filtered top of it we use concatenate as dax function so it will combines all the distinct region values into a single text string and the second argument sales region specifies what to concatenate and the third argument comma inside of double quote specifies the delimiter used between the concatenate values it can be anything a comma and a space but here we used comma in the return condition we used is filtered as function it checks if the sales region columns is currently being filtered or not if column is filtered so it will return true otherwise false and top of it we used if dax function if column is filtered then it will go to the true condition in the true condition it will return the selected values variable result included with sales for the reasons text and as i told you earlier selected value variables is storing the all selected reason values into a single text string and if condition is false then it will return default title sales for all reasons after that click on commit next we will add one cluster column chart with two columns reason and sales so go to the visualization pen and add one cluster column chart in the report page by press and hold the cluster column chart you can place cluster column chart anywhere in the report page like this and here first 
we will add region column in the x axis of the chart and in the y axis just add the sales column like this and by press and hold the corner of the chart you can manage the height and width of the chart and after that we will add the dynamic title for the chart so select the chart go to the format pen and here click on journal open the title and click on function icon and leave it field value as default and click on second drop down and here expand the sales data set and select the dynamic title and after that click on ok so as you can see here nothing is selected in the slicer so that's the reason it is returning the sales for all reason which is default title and now we will select some values from the reason slicer so for an example i select north so as you can see here based on my selection chart title has been changed sales for the reason north now i am going to select multiple reasons from the slicer so here you can see title has been updates with north south and west reason that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos thank you